Hi everyone. Today I'm going to show you eight different drinks which is are perfect for summer. So let's get started. So first, I'm going to start with the ice caramel macchiato. So I'm going to need whole milk, water, I'm using instant coffee in, in instead of uh, uh, the uh, espresso powder. If you have espresso powder, go ahead and use it. It's going to give you a bitter taste and some cocoa powder and some caramel sauce and the ice. You have to use ice to make the drinks super cold, nice and cold. I'm going to put the ice in the fridge and prepare the mocha. So I'm going to mix the instant coffee with the, with the cocoa powder and with some water. And then I'm going to blend everything together. Now in the cup that I already put it into the freezer to make it to make everything nice and cold I pour a layer of caramel sauce and then I put I put my eyes and then another layer of caramel sauce and then I pour I pour the milk over everything and then the espresso on the top or the mocha, sorry, the mocha and the top. And I decorate it with some webbed cream. And extra caramel sauce. For the white mocha, I'm gonna need whole milk, sweet condensed milk, evaporated milk, and white chocolate. This is the evaporated milk. You can use heavy cream instead of it. Or if you don't have the evaporated milk or the heavy cream, you can dissolve like two tablespoons of uh, dried milk in like a, a quarter of a cup of um, whole milk and it's gonna give you the same result. Now I'm gonna uh, heat the evaporated milk in the microwave and then I'm gonna add the chocolate. And then I'm gonna let it uh, rest for like uh, 10 minutes and then I'm gonna stir everything together and then I'm gonna add the, the sweet condensed milk. And now in the cup I'm gonna put ice and then uh, the white mocha mixture and the milk and the mocha that we already made. And then some heavy cream or webbed cream in the top and I sprinkled some cocoa powder now for the iced mocha I'm gonna need I'm gonna need whole milk cocoa powder some cocoa powder and in a stick coffee coffee and some chocolate you can use just a cocoa powder or just chocolate if you want but I like the mixture between chocolate and cocoa powder and here I have some chocolate syrup it's optional but I don't want it to add sugar to the drink so I'm gonna use this syrup instead of the sugar So now I'm going to put all of the ingredients together and then I'm going to blend everything. I 
I also added some eyes. Now in the cup, I added, uh, I decorated with some chocolate syrup, and then I pour the mixture in the top. And I also added some webbed cream, and then some chocolate syrup. Now for the Dalgona coffee, I'm gonna need whole milk, some cold water, sugar, and instant coffee. I'm gonna put everything in the in this cup, plastic cup, and then I'm gonna blend it very well or web it very well. You can also do this by hands. will be light and fluffy as you can see and now in the cup I'm gonna put um, the milk you can also add ice if you want some ice cubes and then I put the Dalgona cafe mixture in the top I wanted to make a heart in the top but it failed because uh, you have to uh, put it over a flat surface if you want the heart to be obvious. And here we're done with the cafe drinks. Now we're gonna make the cold and milkshake drinks. So I'm gonna start with the strawberry milkshake. So I'm gonna need whole milk, some dried milk and sugar. Dried milk is optional, but it gives the milkshake a creamy texture. And here I have some frozen strawberry. It has to be frozen and a bowl of vanilla ice cream and a bowl of strawberry ice cream and some strawberry syrup. The strawberry, when the strawberries are frozen, they will give you super creamy texture. Now I'm gonna put all of the ingredients in my blender. And I'm gonna blend them well. And then I put like a, a tablespoon of, of a strawberry syrup in the cup and then I pour my mixture. And I did decorate it with some webbed cream and extra a strawberry syrup in the top now I'm gonna make the mango milkshake so let's get started I'm gonna need I'm gonna need whole milk frozen mango it has to be frozen because uh, when the when your fruits are frozen they will give you a creamy texture some dried milk it's optional as I told you and some sugar you can use honey instead of the sugar it's gonna give you uh, the same result and some vanilla ice cream bowls I'm gonna put all of the ingredients in my blender and also the ingredients are gonna be right down in the description below
I decorate it with some webbed clay and I put a piece of mango in the top. Now I'm gonna make the iced tea. So I'm gonna need some lemon slices. I used green and yellow lemons and some mint. And two bags of uh, red of red tea and water and sugar because I'm gonna make a syrup, simple syrup. I prefer it a lot. Uh, and so I'm gonna boil the sugar with the water and I'm gonna add like a splash of lemon and here I boil the tea bags in some water now I'm gonna put the ice, the lemon slices, the mint and a little bit of the syrup that we uh, made And I'm gonna pour the tea over it. This is super simple and super delicious. And now we're gonna make the strawberry lemonade or the pink lemonade. It's amazing. So I'm gonna need the syrup that we previously made and some pineapple juice, water, lemon juice, and a frozen strawberry and some 7-up if you don't have 7-up you can use water in a state instead of it now i'm gonna put everything in the blender uh here i added water to help the blender to blend everything maybe you, maybe you don't have to add water if your bl blender is stronger than mine And I'm gonna blend everything. I put the, some ice and the mixture that we previously me made, and some lemon slices. You can also add some frozen uh, fruits if you want, uh, but add it in this point. And then I put I pour the seven up over everything, and enjoy this amazing juice and don't forget to send me a picture if you made any of these drinks and that's it i hope you enjoyed the video and bye